Hello, everyone. So, nostalgia rules here. Alright, so this is going to be my video blog of my adventures, I guess you can call them, on being an eBay reseller. Now, um, in the last video, I talked a little bit about uh, one thing that I found. It was a, a mahogany a pen and pencil set. And uh, basically, that that's what it's all about. It's about finding stuff that's old, that's cheaper, and then you sell it. You know, a lot of people just want to get rid of stuff, or uh, you find stuff at thrift stores. And uh, mostly what I'm going to be focusing on is the thrift stores and, uh, you know, bargain stores, stuff like that. So uh, yesterday, I went to a store called Ollie's, and basically what that is, it's uh, kind of like a liquidation store. So like these places like Ollie's, what they'll do is they'll go to a you know certain big box store and get their stuff uh, that's liquidated, and. Uh, then they'll sell it to us. So, Ollie's is usually a cheaper store, from what I've noticed. And, uh, there's some things there. They have some older stuff, and I'm going to show you a couple things that I found yesterday. So, usually their stuff, uh, they have a lot of things. And, you know, I, I looked up a few different things, and, uh, some stuff was, like, closer to making a few dollars but there wasn't really enough money to be made there so basically what I did was uh, I picked a couple things um, I searched them on eBay and these first two things I think they were like two or three dollars and they were going for like 17 or 18 dollars on eBay with uh, either free shipping or the buyer pays shipping so I ended up picking up those and I'm going to show you uh, those things right now. So the first thing is this Maxell cassette adapter. Now, these things are for basically people with, with like older cars that don't have the sync on their uh, vehicles. Uh, sync or uh, Bluetooth radio, whatever you want to call it. So what you do with this is you take it and if you, like I said, once again, if you have an older car with a cassette um, slot in it, <clears throat> so what you do, you take this, put it in your cassette slot, and then there's a cord here that you could hook up to, you know, like an iPhone, a smartphone, a CD player if you have one, iPod. Uh, iPad for the kids if you have kids or whatever and then you could play it through the uh, car speakers which is pretty cool now this is going to be more of a niche thing for people with older cars but it's still pretty cool I had one of these myself back in the day uh, what I used to do is um, our car had a cassette deck and then I had a CD player that um, in my parents' car, basically what I did was there was like Velcro on the um, the little console there. So I had it stuck there with Velcro. And that's how I listened to my CDs, which is pretty cool. I had like a like a big, you know, thing of CDs. You, you know everyone had those like big Trapper Keeper looking folders full, you know, where you flip through the, you know, you got 500 in there. I didn't have 500. I had a couple hundred, but... Anyway, so that was that. Um, as I mentioned, this was like a couple dollars, two or three dollars. And this is going, uh, there were sold listings already for like 17 or 18 dollars for this. And the next thing I found was a sharper image pair of scissors. Now, these are like home scissors, um, kitchen scissors, whatever you'd like to uh, call them there. And these are uh, these are an older school brand, 
basically, uh, you know, these are quality made. And again, this is another thing that was like a couple dollars. And it's going on sale for $17, $18 on eBay. So this last thing here that I picked up. I picked up some other stuff too, but that's not really worth mentioning. Well, one thing I got, uh, fire extinguisher. Actually, yeah, I'm going to mention that. So I don't have it with me right now, but I got this fire extinguisher. And I was looking at the front and back, and there was no tag. So when I took it up to the to checkout, the cashier said, uh, you know, I told her, I said, there's no uh, price tag on this. And she said, well, how does five ninety nine sound? $6 for a fire extinguisher? Okay. Those things last like five years, too. Um, if you... Uh, sorry for that notification. Um, if, if you don't have one, I suggest that you get one because that could actually save your life. So... Um, Invest in one. Uh, the one that I have is an a ABC extinguisher, which covers uh, your combustible, no, or, uh, ordinary combustible fuels like paper, um, you know, anything that creates an ash. Uh, the B part is uh, oils, um, you know, stuff that comes in a barrel. So, uh, not cooking oils though, but oils like WD 40 that kind of stuff, liquids, like that, flammable liquids. Uh, C is uh, the electrical, so your microwave, stove, fridge, whatever. So get a fire extinguisher if you don't have one. Um, they're like 20 bucks. They last like five years. Get one, and uh, you could save you, you and your family's lives if you, uh, hopefully you'll never have to use it, but if you do, then you're going to wish you, you know, be happy you had one. Okay, so anyway, uh, this is the the last thing that I found, Sour Patch Kids cereal. Now, guys, I'm telling you, weird stuff sells. Okay, weird cereals, weird foods that are, like, rare, limited edition, um, you know, hard to find. You know, just recently I seen they had the, uh, the Snickers candy bars i i forgot if they were cashew um or what nut was inside of it but those went on sale it was like a special edition they sold out instantly and then people were selling them for like 60 dollars for like two of them or something i mean you could probably still find them now um you just have to do a little uh googling i can't remember exactly what it was called but it was real limited edition so anyway, uh, yeah, those are sold out instantly. You pay, you go in a store, you pay a dollar for something and sell it for 60. I mean, come on, that's that's a win. So this in particular, um, this had sold listings from a couple days ago for like 17 or 18 dollars. And I got this for a dollar, one dollar. So I have two of these and uh, I'm going to sell them. So, uh. These things, this, the the shears or scissors, whatever you'd like to call them, and that cassette adapter are going to be for, they're going to be on my uh, eBay site, which I'm going to link down below in the, the uh, description there. So, uh, yeah, I mean, if you guys are interested in anything you see here, you can always check out my eBay. It'll always be on there. And, uh, you know, I really appreciate you guys watching. I'm a newer YouTuber, and... Uh, I'm going to do this thrifting thing and uh, see how it works out. Uh, I know it it could be very uh, lucrative for uh, people that put time and effort into it. So uh, I'm going to show you guys, as I mentioned before, what I'm going through as a newer uh, person in this game. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, like, subscribe. Uh, share, please, if you would, and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you.